This presentation explains controlled traffic farming methods for dry land cropping in Western Australia. We hope the information will help you use controlled traffic concepts on your farm to improve profitability, soil health and the environment. Growing crops on our WA soils has used machinery for over a hundred years. Horse-drawn ploughs were once used and they had little effect on our subsoils. Now we use some gear which is as heavy as road making equipment. Crops do not grow well in soils as compact as road base. But machinery runs better on roads than on cropping topsoil. Controlled traffic farming, or CTF, segregates soil for growing crops well from soil for running machines well. Here are the main CTF concepts to consider. Heavy wheels repeatedly run on permanent tram lines or wheelways. Machinery widths match in simple multiples. CTF lets soils be soils to grow crops well and roads be roads to carry machinery efficiently. Soils trying to grow crops and support heavy wheels or tracks can develop traffic pans which slow down root growth and drainage. Topsoil condition also deteriorates. CTF soils, after appropriate improvement, can allow freer root growth and drainage, as well as better soil health, assuming no other major limitations such as acidity or salinity. Growers and consultants may also find newly developed visual soil assessment methods are convenient and useful when calibrated for local conditions. Identification of compaction in soils with a higher clay content can often be expressed in the abundance of visible soil pores. However, identification of compaction in sands often needs a penetrometer measurement in moist conditions. CTF benefits cropping and the environment by encouraging formation of visible soil pores and confining high strength soil to internal paddock wheelways. Full scale trials and measurements of yields on and off wheel tracks between 1997 and 2000 found yield benefits from 7 to 14 per cent and improvements to grain quality. The canola crop in CTF on the right gave 11 per cent more yield than the normal traffic crop on the left after deep ripping this sand four years before. That is, even including the area of the two bare tram lines every nine metres. There were also improvements to oil content in the canola. Note the green crop strips in the normal traffic after deep ripping on the left. Compaction delayed flowering. Overall benefits come from less soil compaction, better grain yield and quality to improve income, as well as less fuel use, smoother running and less inputs to reduce costs. These combine to provide better gross margins. If auto steer is already in use, then reduced inputs may have already been achieved. Smoother running and less rolling resistance on firm tram lines enables up to 30% less fuel use in WA no-till systems. Whole farm economic modelling at 2012 prices and using only a 5% yield benefit has estimated $36 to $45 per hectare benefit depending on presence of auto steer and using conservative costs of conversion. Most of this benefit came in grain value with a 50-50 split between yield and better grade. Inevitably, the adoption of such new cropping technology is not all beer and skittles. Changes towards CTF need a good plan both for machinery and financing. Primary barriers are the high cost of changing or modifying machinery. Most farms have had a transition plan to fit track widths and working widths gradually as machines are traded in or modifications can be afforded. The two general strategies are either to start with the header and fit all the other machinery to fit, or fit the seeder and sprayer as best possible and let the header and spreader make their own tracks. Some growers have also found it useful to match the spray boom to the header and let the seeder equipment match on alternate spray runs. Whatever the choice, the repeatability of the guidance system to return to the same locations each season will be very important for best traffic control. 
Investment in precise guidance can be good value for money. So, technical challenges include not mixing imperial and metric units when planning the CTF fit, making wider cedars fit, spreading straw and lime well, sinkage in wet tracks, erosion of wheelways, using a chaser bin when their header delivery auger will not reach. There are also some incompatibilities between guidance systems which growers need to be aware of, training staff to understand a CTF system and the need for accurate driving can also be a challenge. Solutions to these problems are always developing. Improved straw and lime spreading methods are becoming available. Some growers have been very innovative. Some growers have tried spreading their chaff and weeds on the tram lines. Chaser bin loading has been made easier by extending augers. Some have also fitted receivable tables on the side of their chaser bins. As headers cut wider and chaser bins get bigger, some are contemplating unloading into a chaser running behind the header. Sinkage in wet tracks has sometimes been reduced by running with dual wheels, even slightly under pressured or of smaller diameter than the inners. Rutted tracks can be renovated by new equipment that draws soil back into the rut. Some growers are also considering graveling badly rutted and eroded wheelways. Rollover banks have been valuable in areas prone to high rainfall. These can be a useful alternative to removal of previous overland flow structures. An exciting consequence of CTF for some growers is the opportunity to use new agronomic ideas better. Deep ripping can be done easily between wide rows of crop from wheelways, often more convenient than before seeding. Fodder crops and grasses can be relay sown between wide rows of maturing lupins. This can perhaps allow some income from a paddock going into perennial grasses. Sowing between old rows for better stubble handling can easily be done with an offset hitch. And on-farm trials are easier to do when whole plots can be seeded and harvested and there is less interference from the effects of subsoil compaction. We hope you found this presentation useful when considering moving to controlled traffic farming.